Yo guys, welcome back to another video, video and today we'll be talking about this invest in the Atlantic, yes, I'm on, no, in the Pacific, yes, I'm on the bus and the reason why I didn't upload yesterday I had my phone taken off me, I will have my phone taken off me for quite some time, but this is going to be my last video, so if I, I'm sorry if I haven't uploaded, I'm sorry if I'm not going to be uploading for a while, um, might upload early next week. Depending, whenever I get my phone, I don't know when I'm gonna get my phone back. But yeah, this is gonna be my last video for today. Um, uh, yeah, I'm on the bus, guys. So sorry, sorry about that. So you can see the cloudiness here, guys. Sorry if you can hear any interruptions. As again, you said I'm on the bus, but sorry if you heard. An old man speaking, you know, it's people getting on the bus, so, so yeah, anyway, you got this outflow van, which kind of looks alright, I guess, I know, I'm hoping this does not form, because it has got a 30% chance, and a 90% chance of real formation in the next five days, um, it has got a 30% chance in the next 48 hours of forming, so, I don't know whether they're gonna, update this or not but uh, yeah I should be at school right now well so on the bus for some reason guys yeah so anyway uh hope you guys enjoy my videos and all that um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the Atlantic now early next week we could have some activity we could have some that goes like that we could have some that goes like this in the Caribbean, uh, any anywhere in the Caribbean could form. Doesn't really, th we don't really know. And um, in the Central Pacific, because there's nothing really active. There, there won't be anything active for quite some time now, nearly two years that this hasn't even been active for. We, we only had at least tropical waves maybe invests from the east pack from, from the we do we did have storms that traveled from the western from the eastern pacific to the central pacific but they weren't fully tropical at that point by the time they got here it was extra tropical so um i'll show you tropical tibets now um tropical tibets is uh, kind of good. So I'm sorry to hear coughing, guys. It's the bus driver. But yeah, there's nothing really on the um, satellite imagery on tropical bits. Um, forecast models. I will show you the North Atlantic because I don't know when I'm going to do a video or not. I don't know if I can do one or not. But as you can see, look. October the 25th, which is Monday. I can't do a video on this, guys. I can't do a video on this. It does get to a category 2, though, which is a bit... Which is a bit, um, a shaming, because then the Atlantic does get active by about the 29th, and there is a system in the Caribbean. That does try and form. Now it does get to a major hurricane, which is very devastating. And then you've got another one, which become, which possibly will become a major hurricane after that in the Caribbean. Now, because this one is weakening, we don't really know what it's going to do now. Now we had that train of activity. Right, the wave is going to come from here is going to circle around here uh, do a loop to loop and then become a category 4 maybe yeah cat 4 no cat 3 maybe cat 4 and then there is a subtropical system that does form near the Azores and then you've got a system that is near Honduras and Nicaragua so you know it does have those quite a long few days and you have like maybe two 
maybe three systems forming in once in November. Now, whether the, whether it's going to be like this for the whole of November, we don't really know. But I might be able to do a video on it. I'm not quite sure. I might be able to do a video on it. On the on the second of November, in this time in the morning. So so yeah. Anyway, I'll show you the E. I'll show you the JTWC. Sorry if I'm talking a bit quiet, guys. Um, I can't really talk as loud as this on the voice you see. But I'll show you the JTWC. Um, yeah, Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Nothing's active. Nothing's really active here. In the tropics, as you can see, no invests. The this region should start getting active any time now. So in November this should start to get active. As you can see, the wind shear is still still not slacking over here. The wind shear needs to slacken over here. It's not slackened over here, but up here, it's still... The wind shear is drifting like that, which is still favourable. In the west pack, you still got some of them, and then you still got some of those shears like that. So, you know, in the west pack, it is a fairly moderate kind of a setup so yeah um and if i show you google if i show you google chrome if i go into google chrome and i'll show you the satellite imagery i'll show you the wind shear map wind shear wind shear It's a wind, wind shear map. There we are. Sorry, I couldn't spell it, guys. You see, the Atlantic's got quite a load of wind shear. Literally, hopefully that should start to slacken up. Yes, to, hopefully that should start to slacken up. But, hopefully, because I want, we, we need another major hurricane to be honest with you. This season has actually been kind of alright for, for change. But last year has been, you know, so I'm going to make my video nice and long. Because I might not be able to upload for a week. Maybe two, I'm not quite sure guys. So, so yeah. Uh... That's the wind shear treasure. This is for now. No zoom. Put it on zoom. Large scale. There you go. You see, this is the only wind shear here. These are the only little wind shear bits that are conducive for development. So you might see a, a little low pressure start to spin up, but and here but honestly you've got to wait until the, the whole the Atlantic slackens down with the wind shear it a bit you know and then obviously if you're going to, you're going to basins I can't do that basically sorry about that guys if I wait yeah I can um, I'll show you the eastern pacific the Eastern Pacific, where that invest is right now, is yes. Unfortunately, it's in the low wind shear environment, but it's going to be going into a high wind shear environment. So, yeah, I don't th think it's going to be forming anytime soon, but it could form. It could surprise us and could become a major hurricane. So, yeah, as you can see. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, if it's a like, comment, subscribe, share. See you on the next video. Hopefully, don't mind the scripty, but yeah. Anyway, 
see you on the next day. Peace and have a good day.